friends, today's video is the video that we all have been waiting for since last year when I posted here on YouTube on the community post. <laughs> so today I'm very excited, very happy that finally I'm sharing with you this story. So today's video is going to be a story time of a Ugandan lady by the name of Dorothy who found love on online dating apps with a German guy. His name is Matthias. And guys, Dorothy is a very lucky lady and so blessed because yes, Matthias is a German guy, <laughs> but something else you need to know about Matthias, he is a very rich guy. So God blessed Dorothy to find a very rich guy on online dating apps. And when I was talking to Dorothy, she told me about it. I was like, girl, really? You found him on online dating apps? She said, yes, Bella, I found him on online dating apps. <laughs> And that's when I told her, girl, you have proved me wrong. Cause I used to think that on online dating apps, you cannot find a very, very rich guy. <laughs> but from Dorothy's story, she proved me wrong. Yes, you can find a very rich, rich guy on online dating apps, but we are going to know how did it happen? <laughs> did this guy display himself? I am rich on online dating apps and then Dorothy saw him. <laughs> Let's find out guys. Today's video is going to be a very, very interesting. You are going to enjoy so much. It has got lots of Afro cinema and guys when you watch this video from now till the end you will remember if you like Nigerian movies there is one of the Nigerian movie I watched oh my god it resembles this story but this is a real life story guys so dear friends before I jump into this beautiful online dating success love story I would like to let you know how I came to know Dorothy so Dorothy found me on social media and then we started chatting. Yes, I knew she was Ugandan, married to a German guy. So we could chat once in a while, not so much. I didn't know her story at all. So a year later, Dorothy asked me to exchange with her phone numbers. I accepted and then we started chatting. She told me, Bella, I really like what you're doing on YouTube. Keep doing that. We are here to support you. I told her, yes, sis, you know, I'm trying to talk to my, you know, black African ladies so that they believe it is possible to find love on online dating apps. She told me, yes, Bella, I believe you. It is very, very possible to find love on online dating apps because even me, I found my husband on online dating apps. And before that, guys, we had talked to Dorothy. So, you know, it was the first time talking so we went a little bit deeper and then she started showing me around the house because she was in one of their vacation homes mansions <laughs> in Spain so she was showing me around that mansion and then after that that's when she was like yes I found my husband on online dating us I was like what really <laughs> is this true she was like yes it's true and if you like I can share with you my love story and they know it is going to help lots of ladies out there it is going to inspire them not to give up because i looked for love for five good years on online dating apps and eventually god blessed me with my adam because they have their nicknames they call themselves adam and eve so that is how it happened and then yes she shared her love story with us. So let us jump into this love story. So dear beautiful friends, our story starts way back then in Uganda because Dorothy is a born and raised Ugandan lady. So Dorothy started and after finishing high school, started hustling for life. She hustled and after some time, God blessed her to open a craft shop in Kampala, Uganda. So friends, after Dorothy opening her craft shop in Kampala, Uganda, kept on hustling, everything was going good with her business, and then came a time where she felt like it is okay to start dating. 
found this Ugandan guy. Everything was so good with the guy. They started dating, but after some time, things did not work out. So they decided to part ways. After parting ways, Dorothy remained single. But she tells us, as growing up, always dreamt of getting married to a white guy. So it was her dream. But her dream countries where her man should come from where the countries which speaks English like in America, Canada, Australia, you know those countries never thought of dating someone from Germany because she didn't even know how to speak German. <laughs> so after that relationship failing with a Ugandan guy, Dorothy was single and searching because was very interested in getting married to a white man could go to tourist places in Kampala where tourists go when they visit Uganda Kampala so she could go to these big tourist hotels she could go to the places where there is you know swimming pools <laughs> hoping to find a white guy go to those restaurants you know tourist restaurants tried it all so that she can come across a white guy but it never happened and that same same time when she was busy searching for the right one her young sister got married was very very happy for her young sister but the society guys they could laugh at her that look her young sister got married and she's just there with no one she really felt very very bad could cry but nothing to do because guys it all depends on god i've been telling you god's time is the best you can do everything that you want to do you can search the way you want but if it is not yet god's time it's not gonna happen so the society did not understand that they took it on her laughed at her she felt very very down but kept on crying to God, telling God, you know the best. It's you who knows when I am going to get married. And guys, I totally understand Dorothy's situation. At that time, you feel so pressured. It can even make you start being desperate, looking for a man and decide to get married to any man that comes your way. I know. I remember one time... <laughs> When I was still single, I had this friend and then we went to a party. So people were looking at us and talking to my friend, telling her you've got cute, cute brothers. Why can those brothers marry your friend? She is very, very beautiful, but she is getting old with no man. Oh my God. I felt really, really sad. I cannot lie to you guys. <laughs> it really touched my heart. <laughs> And I was like, why can people talk in such kind of a manner? And guys, I was just 25. <laughs> I wasn't even that old, 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 old. I was just still young. That these people were saying that I'm old already. It's too late for me <laughs> to get married. Guys, if you're here watching this and you have lots of pressure from the community, don't mind them. Just keep crying to God, praying to God that he brings that right man in your life. And don't be desperate at all. Just calm down. You can find love at any age. So don't listen to anyone. Period. <laughs> yeah. So she kept on searching for her dream white man, though it wasn't easy at all. And then one time came across this friend that recommended her to join online dating apps. And that's how her online journey started. So guys, Dorothy downloaded the dating apps that the friend recommended to her and started chatting. She started chatting with different men all around the world, but tells us she searched and searched and searched, chatted and chatted, with lots of white men, but no one was serious at all. And then one time received a message from this white man. He seemed serious. They chatted and then after a while, the guy was like, I am coming to Uganda to meet you. Dorothy was really, really happy that finally <laughs> someone is coming to meet her 
in real life that means the guy is serious so the day for that guy to travel go to uganda came and dorothy was waiting <laughs> so when the guy arrived he was like i am in africa already told dorothy dorothy was so happy i can't wait to see you but the guy told her i first passed in kenya i'll stay in kenya for a while then go to rwanda stay there for a while then later that's when i'll come to uganda to see you oh my god dorothy was very very disappointed in that guy she knew exactly that the guy was in kenya with another lady and will go to rwanda to see another lady then go see dorothy so what dorothy did after a guy coming to uganda dorothy refused to go see that guy she tells us did not give that guy time told him just enjoy your stay here in uganda but forget about me and i really like that i'm so proud of her no matter how desperate you are to find a white man never never allow any man in your life put you the last never ever allow any man waste your time because some of these white guys yes they chat with you on online dating apps especially guys summer period be very very careful <laughs> i talked of this but i am repeating again right now they are organizing their summer vacations <laughs> So they're planning and chatting. If they find you online, they'll be like, I'll come to see you in June, July, August. You find that the guy isn't talking of anything that serious, you know, like someone interested to know you, but still insists on coming to see you. I told you, ask that guy, why is he coming to see you? Why is he coming to Uganda? Why is he coming to Kenya? why is he coming to zambia <laughs> is it really for you or he is just coming as his summer vacation to enjoy life and then that's it don't accept to be used please please so with this let's close it continue with our story so after that guy who had lots of girls in africa <laughs> dorothy had to ignore him continued with her search on online dating apps then came across these losers i've been telling you they are losers <laughs> They could ask for webcam, <laughs> ask for Skype, and then when Dorothy goes to talk with them on Skype, finds the guy, you know, <laughs> playing himself, wants to justify himself just by talking to Dorothy. Some could ask her nude pictures. Dorothy was so, so angry at those guys, but couldn't give them her time. When she could discover a guy is just a player, could end it there right on the spot and keep on searching so dorothy kept on with her search but tells us it was really frustrating because you chat and chat and chat and chat but nothing nothing good out of it so it reached a point she was so so tired and decided to take a very long break so after taking a long break afterwards returned to the dating apps but after returning still was coming across those players mr send me your nude photos mr turn around i want to see you behind <laughs> Yeah, it was very, very frustrating, disappointing, and very draining. So she told herself, I think I am going to delete all these dating apps that I have been using. Because tells us it was her fifth year on online dating apps, and she had used lots of dating apps. I'm going to be writing all the names of the dating apps that she tried out. And also, without forgetting, I will share with you the name of the dating app where she found the one after those five good years. So on her fifth year, she told herself, no, let me delete all these dating apps and be in peace. <laughs> You know guys peace of mind is very very important because <laughs> felt like she was going to go crazy on those dating apps something told her no don't delete them just leave them like that 
keep on with your life with your business if anything good comes up you receive an email you can log in and then start chatting so eventually she concluded that she was not going to delete those dating apps but just logged out so guys dorothy took a long break and decided to focus on her business decided to focus on god too so it was on sunday she went to church it was a sunday service and then the pastor said that wanted to anoint people who wanted to get married so they should go and the pastor prayed for them dorothy at first never wanted to stand up <laughs> People started standing and lining up for the pastor to pray for them. <laughs> Eventually, Dorothy stood up the last. So she was the last on the line. The pastor passed and, you know, prayed for everyone. And when he reached at her, he was like, wow, wow, wow. I see a very rich handsome nice looking white man when dorothy heard that she was like i gave up long time ago on these things deep inside her heart so the pastor prayed for her the service ended and dorothy returned home that day so after the pastor telling dorothy that he has seen a very rich nice looking handsome white man it passed a week dorothy tells us and then she went to dating apps <laughs> logged in to see what is happening and guess what guys found a message from this german guy a message was so long and so so nice so when dorothy read the message she was like hmm you know what i've been receiving same same good messages this guy must be one of those same same guys i've been chatting with you see they sent you a good message you chat and then when you start getting to know each other they start sending me your nude photos let's do online sex <laughs> so she was like ah he's just same same these players that i have been meeting here online decided to ignore that message so after ignoring the message of the german guy kept on with her life <laughs> never logged in again to the dating app until past five good months <laughs> she returned again to the dating app to see what's happening and that guy's message was still there so something started telling her you know deep inside her heart i think it was the holy spirit guys told her can you please respond to that guy and decided to follow her heart responded to a guy when she responded same same time that german guy told her i sent you a message long time ago and i was waiting for your response oh my god they started chatting and immediately told her do you have whatsapp numbers let us exchange whatsapp numbers so they exchanged their whatsapp numbers moved to whatsapp started chatting and this guy the first thing that he asked dorothy was her photos told her send me your photos and if you have same same photos that were on your profile on online dating apps send them to me so that i know it's you <laughs> you're not a scammer so what dorothy did sent her photos same same photos that were on online dating apps sent them to the guy the guy was so happy and told her yes now i believe that you are real he also sent his photos because attention this guy didn't have any photos on his profile <laughs> and i think also that contributed to dorothy ignoring him for that long time so they chatted and he asked for a video call is it okay that we make a video call <laughs> dorothy accepted and yes this guy called on a video call they started talking and yes they were all real the conversation was very very flowing <laughs> everything good but then dorothy tells us the devil started fighting her <laughs> 
<laughs> if Dorothy was Nigerian, could be like her village people started fighting her. <laughs> Cause her phone battery went low <laughs> in the middle of talking. So I had to tell this guy, you know what? My battery is very, very low and I am at work right now at her craft shop. So I think we should talk later. So they talked and set an appointment of talking later when Dorothy returns home. So time was going really fast and Dorothy's day at her shop ended, she returned home. So after returning home, yes, she had charged her phone <laughs> and the time to talk to Matthias came and yes, Matthias called at that same, same time. He said, he's gonna call. I told you guys when I was talking about German guy, how is it like to date a German guy? How are they? They respect time very very much <laughs> so that is why he called just same same time <laughs> that they agreed on they started talking and then at the beginning of them starting to talk dorothy tells us the devil started again fighting her <laughs> the electricity went off oh my god <laughs> it was dark everywhere <laughs> so what dorothy decided to do had to light up the candle so they kept on talking with the candle until they finished talking and then matthias told her we are going to talk tomorrow again but oh my god when she told me about this i laughed a lot and i was like wow <laughs> what a beginning of everything <laughs> Because that's when everything began. <laughs> so Dorothy tells us that night she slept so, so good, very happy that at least she felt like the guy might be the one. So in the morning when she woke up, this guy called her. They started talking again tells us they talked for two good days and then after those two days do you know what this guy asked dorothy <laughs> let's find out guys so after chatting for those two good days matthias asked dorothy can you come to visit me in germany <laughs> then dorothy was like is this guy kidding Oh, he is serious of what he is asking me. Dorothy was like, no, why can't you come first in Uganda? Then Matthias told her, you know what? Right now I'm in the season where I cannot travel due to my work. I can't just leave everything at work and come to Africa. I can't do that. That is why I am asking you if it is okay with you, you come to visit me in Germany. Then Dorothy told him, give me some time to think about it. Then I'll give you the answer. Matthias said, okay, I will wait. So dear beautiful ladies that are watching this video, if you were in Dorothy's shoes, <laughs> were you going to travel, see this guy in Germany? Oh, you were not going to go. You are going to tell him, no, I cannot come. Just wait. When you have time, you will come to Uganda. <laughs> what was going to be your answer? But for Dorothy, let us continue and find out what did she decide? So guys, after Dorothy talking to Matthias, Matthias inviting her to Germany, and then she was like, give me some time, just wait. So what she decided to do, tells us had a friend who lived in Switzerland. The friend was Ugandan, married to a white guy. So Dorothy told her, my friend, I found this guy on online dating apps. We have been chatting for only two days, but right now this guy is inviting me to Germany <laughs> to see him. He says he's very busy with work. Then the friend told her, can you please send me the names of that German guy so that I can Google him first. So what Dorothy did, sent the names of Matthias to the friend in Switzerland. The friend Googled him and then got back to Dorothy, asked Dorothy, did this German guy tell you what he does for life? <laughs> His job? Then Dorothy was like, no, he did not. The friend told her, okay, Dorothy, if this guy did not tell you much of what he does for a living, 
I am not going to tell you. <laughs> I will just leave everything to you. You will be the one to find out. But what I want to tell you, after Googling his name, we actually know him, me and my husband. And due to the kind of job he does, he cannot do stupid things. He's gonna ruin his reputation if he does something stupid. So you know that the guy is very, very responsible. And another thing, just to tell you a little bit, the guy is dope. The guy is loaded. <laughs> so Dorothy was like, what? What are you saying? The friend said, yeah. And if this guy sends you an invitation, buys for you a ticket to go see him in his country, you just know the guy is real. Dorothy's friend added that if Matthias sends the invitation, she should go because Switzerland is not very far from Germany and because she is near, if anything happens to her in Germany, she will go to pick her. So after Dorothy talking to the friend, she was like, okay, kept on chatting with Matthias. And then after a week of them talking on the phone, Matthias made the next step, which I always tell you it is very, very important. The introduction. So Matthias introduced Dorothy to his son because Matthias before was married. He was a divorced guy. So talk to the son and then to the mother. Dorothy did the same, but both sides never talked so much. It was just hello, hello, and then it ended there. So after the introduction, Matthias asked again, Dorothy, I'm still waiting for your response <laughs> concerning my invitation. So Dorothy was like, okay, I can come. Matthias told her, you just look for all documents on your side that are needed for you to get a tourist visa to come to Germany. And I am going to send you the papers on my side that are needed for you to travel, come here as a tourist to visit me. So she started preparing for the documents and everything took one week. Everything was ready, went to the embassy, applied for her visa. But another thing you need to know, Matthias told Dorothy, I am not going to send you a single coin for you to process your visa. Use all your money. And when you get the visa, just immediately after receiving the visa, when you are still at the embassy, take a picture of your passport, send it to me, and I'm going to send you a ticket. When you come here, I'm going to refund you all the money that you used to process the visa and everything. I will return it all. But for now, just use your money. <laughs> so again, I am asking you, dear beautiful ladies that are watching this video, if you were in Dorothy's shoes, were you going to pay for your visa? <laughs> or you were going to say no? I'm not going to pay for a visa. You have to pay for everything. <laughs> Please let me know in the comment section below. But for now, let's find out what did Dorothy do? So what Dorothy did, decided to use her money, process the visa. It took only one week and then Dorothy was given her visa to go travel, meet Matthias for the first time in Germany. So with these guys, I think I'm going to guide you. I don't know yet what is your answer. <laughs> if you were going to pay for the visa by yourself. <laughs> but for me, I think what Dorothy did was just okay. What I'm against guys, very, very against, is the guy that invites you and then tells you you are going to process your visa alone i'm not going to give you any money i'm not going to send you any documents on my side you have to also book for your own hotel and for me i'll just pay for the ticket when a guy tells you that you know that first of all he has got something he's hiding in his home <laughs> which we don't know but it's not good for your relationship and here that is when i tell you never pay for your trip to go visit a guy 
But with Dorothy, this guy accepted to send his documents, invitation letter. The only thing that Dorothy was supposed to pay for was for her visa, which usually is not all that much money. And Dorothy was in a position, you know, to pay for herself that visa. So guys, with this, I think you can differentiate the situation when you come across a situation like dorothy you know how to go about it but when you come across a situation whereby a guy tells you i'm gonna pay only for a ticket and no documents on my side you know what to do too let's keep on with the story so after dorothy getting her visa did exactly as matthias told her took a photo of her passport and sent it to matthias matthias was like can you come tomorrow <laughs> Then Dorothy told him, no, I cannot come tomorrow. I need time to prepare myself, you know, do a little car shopping. <laughs> if you're Ugandan, you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> little car shopping. <laughs> oh my God, I miss Uganda. I told you guys, my mom is from Uganda <laughs> and my dad is Tanzanian. <laughs> yeah. So Uganda is my second home. <laughs> Yeah, so told him I have to do the little car shopping and then I'm going to let you know when I can come. Let me prepare myself. So friends, Dorothy tells us they started chatting in September, that was 2014. So friends, Dorothy tells us they started chatting in September and when she got her visa to go to Germany, it was in September. But due to some reasons, she couldn't travel that September, so waited till November. That is when she was ready to travel, go to Germany. Talked to Matthias. Matthias was very, very happy. And that same, same day, bought her the flight ticket to go to Germany and visit him. So all this while, Dorothy tells us never told anyone <laughs> that she is going to Germany. Even her mother told her like today and then next day she was traveling to Germany. When she told her mother, the mother was so scared. Started telling her they are going to cut off your head. And here I imagine guys, if it was my mom, I'm going to speak in Lunyankole. You know, my mom is from Ankole. So my mom was going to say, Iwe mwanawe, nubaza tue. They're going to cut off your head. <laughs> but Dorothy wasn't scared at all. Tells us deep inside her heart <laughs> felt peace, felt like the guy is the one and nothing bad is gonna happen to her. He told the mom to calm down and told her, I feel it, I must go for it. And that's what she did. The day to travel came and Dorothy says she had never traveled outside Uganda and she had never seen even a plane how it looks like <laughs> so she was super nervous but she had to take that risk and travel so time to board came she boarded and when she was inside the plane found out that Matthias had bought a business class ticket so she was taken to the business class and tells us everyone was looking at her at that time she was very very tiny <laughs> you know looking at this tiny girl in the business class <laughs> Tells us she was so scared of everything, you know, even eating was scared. They brought wine to her, tells us she was a holy girl, <laughs> didn't even drink wine. So she was just there the whole trip thinking of how it's going to be because it was the whole new experience to her. So friends, eventually time to arrive to Germany came and Dorothy arrived at the airport. Matthias was there anxiously waiting for her with beautiful, beautiful flowers. When they met, they were so happy to see each other. They hugged so tightly and then Matthias took Dorothy to the apartment where he was living. Another thing that Dorothy said is that because it was in November winter period <laughs> so it was 
cold very very cold <laughs> yeah so they went when they arrived at his apartment he prepared a very warm bath for her then after having a bath it was in the morning but she was super super tired due to the long hours in the flight so hard to sleep you know rest a bit so after sleeping when she woke up Matthias called her and was like you come I want to test you <laughs> so Dorothy was like test me for what <laughs> Matthias told her that we have to test HIV and there are some tests I bought in France a week ago it is better we test at home because if you go to the hospital the results are gonna take long so she was like okay they tested and the results were they came out both negative so after the tests Dorothy tells us they went out for shopping he took her to one of the outlets and did a very luxury shopping for her they could only enter those luxury luxury shops that she had never seen in her life was really really happy after that they went for lunch ate lunch and then returned home everything was good but because it was their first time to be together so they kept on you know building that connection together getting close but people who love to hear the goodies <laughs> not yet but just in a minute we are going to arrive there <laughs> You know guys i told you that in most cases if you're a lady who never talked of like waiting till marriage with your guy when you were still chatting when you come here <laughs> just be ready you're gonna share the goodies no matter how much you wait the first day yes it must pass the second day the third day <laughs> But like Dorothy had one month and one week, eventually she was going to share those goodies. <laughs> yes, so after a week, nothing had happened yet. Matthias was waiting for her to be ready, you know, to share the goodies. And eventually after a week, Dorothy was like, how long am I going to keep my goodies? <laughs> Let me share them. So decided to share the goodies they enjoyed and it was so great. <laughs> so friends, Dorothy tells us after sharing her goodies, that is when all it started. <laughs> yeah, Matthias took her for one week vacation, one week getaway in one of the beautiful places in Germany they really enjoyed so much in their one week vacation and then when one week ended they returned to the place where Matthias was living they stayed there and then after another one week Matthias took Dorothy to Greece on another vacation in Greece they really enjoyed much 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 everything was good and it was all the new experience to Dorothy but surely she was enjoying so much and after their vacation in Greece they returned again to Germany so Dorothy tells us on her stay in Germany Matthias could be always on the phone so she could be like why is this guy always on the phone but anyways let me see how this goes but later on I'm going to let you know why Matthias was always on the phone and another thing that Matthias told Dorothy while she was in Germany is that she knew yes he was divorced but told her I am not planning to get married yes I'm gonna live with you but marriage for me no <laughs> so Dorothy was like hmm okay no problem I'm okay with it so they continued with their relationship and what I have learned so far with Dorothy yes she went into this relationship and due to her past experience on online dating apps made her not to put lots of expectations in a relationship so that she doesn't get 
heart that is why she was like okay let me see how far it goes and this helped her very very much keep on watching this video till the end you will understand why i'm saying it really helped her much so they kept on spending some good times together and it was time for dorothy to return to uganda because her stay was over <laughs> and then the night before she traveled what matthias did dorothy tells us he spoiled her he gave her lots lots of money tells us yes she had seen money in her life but the money that matthias gave to her she had never even thought of having that much money in her life she was in a shock <laughs> yeah so the next day it was the day for her to travel matthias took her to the airport and when they were at the airport before she boarded matthias knelt down with a ring and asked her will you marry me <laughs> oh my goodness she was in a shock guys because deep inside her heart or in her mind was asking herself but this guy told me he will never marry <laughs> but said yes and he was so happy then she told him so you're giving me this ring to keep me because i know you told me you're not going to marry me matthias told her ah you never know <laughs> they hugged and then she returned to Uganda. So after Dorothy returning to Uganda tells us kept on going to Germany staying three months and then three months in Uganda again three months went to Germany three times and then the third time that is when Matthias told her no I cannot continue doing this anymore I want to marry you. So right now when you go back to Uganda prepare all needed documents told her the documents that were needed and after getting those documents return back here so that we can get married so she was very very happy about that and then after her stay ending in germany returned in uganda prepared all needed documents for her to get married in germany then went to the embassy at the embassy they gave her little problems they were like oh you're processing a marriage visa and then right now you want to go what if you don't return she was like if i could not stay at the first time the second time the third time why should i stay now so eventually they granted her the visa went to germany and after arriving they started processing for their wedding processed everything and when everything was ready wedding bells <laughs> they got married with few friends and family around it was the best day in her life enjoyed so so much her dream came true guys remember she dreamt of getting married to a white man and god blessed her with a white man got married congratulations to you doroth and matthias may god keep blessing your marriage but don't click off guys we still have afro cinema <laughs> another thing guys before i forget dorothy tells us her mother-in-law is such a loving caring mother-in-law welcomed her in the family very very well even took her jewelry her very precious expensive jewelries and gave them to dorothy oh my god thank you oma you know it feels so good to have a mother-in-law that adores you and loves you so guys to the afro cinema dorothy tells us after getting married they kept on leaving to the apartment where they were living everything was good 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 but after a while one day matthias woke up and told her to pack everything because he was taking her somewhere so she packed put everything in the car and then they started you know driving <laughs> they went until they arrived to the gate of this 
beautiful big mansion and she was asking herself lots lots of questions so when they arrived they came out of the car when they were in the house couldn't stop you know asking herself questions and in the end had to ask Matthias what are we doing here Matthias told her this is my home this is going to be our home from now wow she was in a very big shock then from there he started opening up about his business told her that he has got a very big known company in germany he is the owner of that big company and the reason why he did not tell her anything about his life and his company that he's someone rich has got lots of houses <laughs> It's because he was not sure if he will marry her and wanted to confirm if she wasn't a gold digger. <laughs> yeah, and true guys, this girl went into that relationship without lots of expectations, not like some girls that have come on my DM to ask me, I've been chatting with this guy, he told me his salary is this, can you help me convert it to my currency? <laughs> So that I get to know if he can take a good care of me. Guys, a guy can earn a very big salary in your currency, but that doesn't mean he can take a good care of you. We don't know how he spends, you know. So knowing if a guy is financially stable is by getting to know him, by seeing the actions, yes. But if you start chatting with a guy and immediately, how much do you earn? What is your salary? You will destroy everything. Cause this guy was rich on online dating apps, but never posted photo of his expensive luxury cars or of his, you know, mansions, never. <laughs> He didn't have any photos and also didn't tell the girl that he was dating that I've got this house, I've got this, I've got that. No, he rented an apartment, took her to an apartment, got married to her in that apartment and he was sure after getting married that is when he opened up to her. So let's learn something from this. So they started living in their house as, you know, married couple, everything was good, but Dorothy had to tell Matthias that we need to go to Uganda and make an introduction, you know, pay for the bride price and everything because we jumped that step. And it's very, very important to my family. Matthias was like, no, I'm not going to do that. We got married already. Why do that? <laughs> and she told him, Matthias, you don't know where I come from. What if something bad happens to me? What are you going to do? <laughs> so Matthias was like, okay, no problem. And what he did gave her money. <laughs> That's what she tells us. He gave her lots, lots of money and she went to Uganda for two weeks for the preparations, inviting people. And the money was enough for everything. He paid for literally everything, guys. And when everything was ready, organized, everyone invited, Matthias went to Uganda for the introduction and all the traditional process. Dorothy tells us her family was so, so happy. Everyone happy. They they enjoyed so so much and after the party they returned together to Germany so after returning to Germany that is when Matthias introduced Dorothy to all the workers in his company <laughs> and Matthias told her that everyone was asking who is this black girl that married our boss we want to see her so eventually she was introduced to everyone and everyone was looking at her they told her you are a very lucky girl <laughs> and something else that made me laugh so so much but you know what these people can be very very open <laughs> yeah so where they used to live in that apartment Dorothy had some rumors <laughs> that Matthias used to take some ladies there because this guy 
took that apartment so that he can look for a wife so he was there and lots of girls used to go there and after some girls you know finding out he was rich they even fought and he didn't care <laughs> you know you fight for a guy and the guy is there looking at you like you two are very stupid <laughs> So they told her all that scenario, but the person who told her was like, since you came here, Matthias never brought any girl. And this shows that he really, really loves you. So after the introduction and all that, <laughs> Dorothy had to ask Matthias, is this true? I had one, two, three, four when we were living in the other apartment. <laughs> Matthias was like, yes, it's true. I used to have lots of girls in the process to find the one and because I have money, you know, it allowed me. But after I found you, I stopped it all, everything. Because I love you so much, I'll never do anything to hurt you. I'll make you happy for the rest of your life. And some of you are like, what does she do for a living? <laughs> So my answer is, have you come across this voice that is going around Instagram? <laughs> like, what is your dream job? And then the lady is like, ah, to be honest, I don't have a dream job. <laughs> Just ask me my dream holiday destinations. <laughs> yeah, because she is very, very okay. The guy is taking a very good care of her. Of course, she has got some businesses and the guy is, you know, spoiling her every single day you are blessed girl i've told you this and i'll keep telling you you are very blessed and we all thank god for that so friends that is her beautiful online dating success love story they are happily married this year they're making their seventh year together god is providing they are all happy her family is happy his family is happy everything is going good 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 and may god keep blessing you girl and guys i know some of you will ask where are their photos guys they requested me not to share their photos because they live a very very private life and due to the work the husband is doing, preferred not to be shown anywhere. I really respect that. Those who think that I can sit here and invent a story like that, I'm sorry guys, I accepted to share this story so that I can deliver the message. So that any woman out there searching for love can learn something out of this story. That is my intention guys. But I know Dorothy, we have talked, I told you on a video call, we communicate. She is my friend. <laughs> and due to the respect that I have, yes, I've got lots of her photos in my phone, but I cannot share them with you. And let's all just learn from her story and be happy for her praying for you that you also find the one a guy who will love you for real let us live alone a guy who is rich because it's god who will locate you to a rich guy so let's just pray for a guy who will truly love you for who you are so guys yes i've told you that we don't have photos of the two of them you know but i managed to convince her and we got only one photo only a part of the pool area of their vacation house in spain <laughs> yeah i've seen that mansion actually it's the mansion that i was talking about when she called me on a video call because she was in spain it's such a beautiful house oh my god but our sister is lucky guys we thank god and also she invited me me and my husband to go on a vacation with them in spain in their mansion <laughs> i can't wait for that time guys so yes guys the photo i'm gonna be putting it here or here or here so that you can see that so to our big question what was that dating app and was Dorothy paying on that dating app? The answer is she wasn't paying at all because Matthias was paying on that dating app. And the name of the dating app is Afro 
introductions <laughs> yes she found him on afro introductions so guys quickly to her advice and it is a short one because this video has been so long tells you never to give up in everything whatever you do the pyramid is god first Put God first in everything. He will always lead you and guide you into everything. Don't fear people. Fear only God. That's her advice, guys. So, my dear, beautiful friends, I really hope you enjoyed this video. You learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good you're going to enjoy a lot please don't forget to comment below what you think about this video subscribe please join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao